friends and welcome back to my channel. My name is Jenny and today I am showing you and sharing with you the collection kit that I'm going to be working with for Collection Obsession during the month of July. So I have quite a bit of this uh, collection, not everything, but a good chunk of stuff. And so I am so excited to play with this. It's been in my stash for a little while and um only it, it came out into 2022 so not a long time but definitely a beautiful palette um and i pulled it because i want to make sure that i'm using what i'm bringing in and not waiting for the perfect time to to use it the perfect photos all of that um i have a tendency to do that so I'm trying to get out of my comfort zone. And so today I'm going to just briefly go over the papers and what I what else I have brought in from my my stash, if you will. Um, but here, let me go through and I'm going to show you the papers in this collection. You may have previously seen it sometime last year when I purchased it. Um, I love all of the blues for this month um it is a beautiful uh so it's not super uh dark or anything like that it's just a beautiful uh different tones of the blues and neutrals in this collection you see a little sampling of it up here um but these are just all of the different papers and they are such high quality thick papers they are absolutely gorgeous so isn't that beautiful? Look at that doily. Um, I, ha I have selected my photos, but I have not yet gone ahead and made the page kit. So um, I will be doing that. Um, and you'll, you'll see that um, once you see the initial videos, um, you will actually see the matchups already. So that was the papers, and this is the collection pack. These are the solids. Um, I do like to purchase these um, every so often just because I feel like it extends the, um, the collection. So I have two of these um, blue papers. And then here is the B side. It's a, like a lighter blue, almost a almost a gray. This is a beautiful tan with just a lighter tannish neutral. I think that's how these are. They're like have a have a darker color and a lighter color of the same hue. Yeah. See, this is brighter, and then you get the more subtle. That's really nice. And then here's like a darker, almost mocha like brown and then this is a combination really textured looking like burlap really pretty so here are those two you see them here there we go and then what did i buy from the collection the collection um i bought some of these um the mix and match die cut pieces there are 73 so i'm not going to take them out this second but um there's a ton and i'm sorry for the glare if you're seeing any um there's a ton to choose from here beautiful and then i did buy the serenity laser cuts elements and so this is going to be really pretty. This will be the first time I play with these. So that should be a lot of fun. And then I had previously, I don't think I'm going to be able to use this one. So I may put that one back. But I had previously purchased this 49 and Market, the rub-on, um, the essential text blend so they have a little bit of text. It's a rub-on, which I've heard they make amazing rub-ons um and so this one has that uh tannish brown and there's it's two different sheets 
and then this is the what's called, this one is called hickory and then this one is called mariner so there are tinges of the different colors of blue and i'll probably just mainly stick to the neutrals with the brown the darker blues and then the light blues because those are the ones although i think yeah this is more like a turquoise -y. it's it's a little bit um, it's a little bit more on the greener side. So I'll probably stay, try not to use those unless there's some green in there that I may have overlooked. So, but these two are getting added. And then what I was thinking in terms of finishing touches is that I would just grab some enamel dots from my stash uh, to be able to augment. So the different blues, the different, um, the different tans, and then even some of like the the white off-white type um, colors uh, to be able to augment. And then um, I think that'll be it. So I certainly hope that you will come back and don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you want to see the layouts that I create with these um, with this collection this month. And um until next time, bye for now, friends.